Hey, I'm Rachel and Gome, And today we're talking about how to use Trello for your business. Um, so I'm going to show you some of my boards, how do you set it up, all this good stuff. And you're going to get more organized, more productive, get more done and have less clutter in your brain. So I want to apologize first and foremost, if you hear any background noise, we're staying in Airbnb in uh, Le Mans, France, and I have the windows open. So sorry if you hear some craziness going on. It shouldn't be too bad though. Okay. So I wanted to show you some boards. First of all, I made a little checklist here of the boards that I wanted to show you in my Trello tutorial. So let's start off with current week. This is what the board that I use just to have like a checklist, a to-do list basically for every day and to have my notes about what needs to happen for that day. So I have my goals here front and center of what I want to accomplish. And then here I have a list for each day of the week. So if you want to add a new list, boom, 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 here would be add list. So just boom, here we go. If I want to delete that or archive it, I can archive this list. I can archive this list again. So here I'll show you Monday as an example. So here I have a checklist. You can add a description here if you want to. I don't. These are all the things that need to happen today. So I have ongoing stuff. A lot of times I'll literally just check it off when it's done. These are things that I do every Monday. So I'll literally check it and then uncheck it just to make sure I have it. If I want to create a new checklist, I'll go here, title it, whatever I want and add. And here I can just do to do whatever it is that's on my to-do list. I can check it off or I can delete that if I don't want that to happen or I can delete the whole thing. Okay. I can add comments here as well or set a due date. So I set due date for this one randomly <laughs> for the 29th. I can make it here. I can make it here. Click save. And then it's telling me I got to get all this done by today at noon. You could also create a label here if you want to change the name of this to maybe I'll do this Monday. So every yellow, I guess, is now Monday, if I want to keep it like that. Boom. And I could take off that label if I don't want it. Okay. So you can see I have, if I want to add another card in here, I can test. And again, within this card, you could add a checklist, a due date, you can attach something. I'll show you a few other examples. But this is my current week board of everything that happens that week. What else did I want to show you? Ooh, let's go to travel. Ha. So here I keep track of all of our travel dates. Since we've been living internationally for the past two years, there's been a lot of international travel and especially for like tax purposes, they ask for all of that stuff. Um, so here I have upcoming things that are going down. Um, here's an example. When I went to Rome, I just put like all of our booking codes, our hotel and everything in there. So it was all in one spot. Um, when I went to DC, same thing. I had like my train, my hotel, it was all in there. I had the due date of when this needed to happen. Um, I have to-do list too, be, <laughs> being international. We had to do like carte de séjour, visas, all that, all that good stuff. So that's in the travel board. I also wanted to show you, ooh, the Impact Blogging Academy. I'll show you this one. Creating an online course, there's so many moving parts to it. And you have to have a place where you're keeping everything organized. And I do that in Trello. So I have like a brain dump of all the modules that are going into the course. Once I have that done, then I create a list and this is all the things that need to happen in the course, everything. So as I'm creating the course, I know module one, we're talking about focus and market research, module two, setting up your blog, so on and so forth. And so here, literally, I would just add another card if I wanted to add maybe a bonus section. I can spell, that's okay. So within this module, you can see I have a checklist of the videos that I need to make and cheat sheets that I need to make per module. And as I was creating, I was just able to go through and check these things off. So again, to make a checklist, sample, I would just add that and then ideal client. And then I'll be able to just check that off as I was going. I don't need this, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, so that's IBA. I also wanted to show you goals. Okay, 
I like having a goals board just so you can see like quarter one priorities, um, what my goals are for 2019, uh, for 2018, what our goals were. I put some affirmations in here um, as well. And then every time we have a goal that is met, I drag it over. And so um, as we had our first 50K month, I was like, ha, oh, that was a huge goal. Um, so I was able to drag that board over to here. So I have health goals, life goals, <laughs> our house goal, uh, basically everything is in here. Okay, what else? Um, I also wanted to show you, ooh, our team board. Oh, and my blog post board. I don't want to forget this one. This is, this is huge. Okay. This will change your life. So I use this to come up with different content ideas. So as I have different ideas, I'll add them to this list right here. As you know, I come up with an idea in the shower or on a walk or someone tells me they want me to cover this topic. I put it here. I batch all of our titles and keywords. Uh, so if you are a student in any of our courses, we teach you how to do this kind of stuff um, to create titles and keywords that people actually want to read. So I put that here as I'm working on it. So this was the title for this blog post, uh, how to use Trello effectively for business. As I'm working on it, I just moved it over to writing. And then I set a due date of, I want this published on June 12th and click save. So as I'm editing it, I'll again, move it over here. And then when it's ready for publishing, I'll move it over there. And then I could change this order or whatever, if I wanted to, I'm not done with it yet. I'm still working on it. So I'm going to leave it there. I also want to show you the she's making an impact board. So this is our team board and this is where, you know, we have everyone basically that our contractors or team members on, uh, that we're working with. This is how we stay in contact with each other. So as they're reading, um, Michelle and our team is the one that does customer service as she's reading our emails, she'll tag me in here and let me know if there's anything that, that needs my specific attention or if she, or if there's nothing that I need to worry about. If I have something that I want to work on, um, I'll basically say like, Oh, Hey, Ariana, can you do yada, yada, yada? And then I'll tag her. So I added her as a member and boom, I would just tag her on that board. Maybe I have an attachment and I want to upload it to show her what I'm talking about, or, Hey, can you add this to this thing? Yeah. So on and so forth. If I want to archive this, that's all I got to do. Okay. I think I had one more. What else? What else? There's so many fun things in here. <laughs> oh, I'll show you this one too. So, um, as we're setting up our nonprofit, so anytime I have like a project that I'm working on, or I have one for when we're moving and I have like a to-do list or something, I put it in here. So as we're setting up our nonprofit, I put what I'm working on in here. So like our to-do list, we had to come up with a name. So I had our name brainstorm here of all the different name ideas. Um, I put our mission statement here. As we're coming up with the fonts that we have, the colors that we have, I put that here as well. And so I can literally just come and I could search for colors, fonts, or Global Mercy Impact in here and find it. Um, just important like numbers or email login or our logo, all that stuff is here and it's all organized and pretty and I love organization and all this good stuff. So uh, for type A personalities especially, this will make you happy. For someone who's aspiring to be type A or that needs some organization in your life, you need to get on Trello because this will just, everything's in one spot, makes life so much easier. So I hope you found this helpful. Go get organized and have an amazing day. If you haven't yet grabbed my free cheat sheet where I'll teach you how to get more leads and sales with Pinterest, make sure to go to pinwithrachel.com. I've got tons of good stuff on the blog if you head there as well. So have an amazing day and I'll talk to you later.